Over the last year of screening my film camera person at film festivals and theaters, it has been a total joy to hear people speak about it in ways I never imagined. It's been called a diary, a love letter, an elegy and an essay about movies, and it's been seen as a companion piece to G. Gifertov's classic and called Woman with a Movie Camera. My heart leapt when one reviewer compared it to a film that has always inspired me, Sans Soleil, by my hero Chris Marker, calling it Avax Soleil. What a thrill it has been to see the incredible range of people who relate to this film. This was my secret hope in making it, but I first started on it out of a deep need within myself to question the many meanings and consequences of image making over time. I had been working for 25 years as a cinematographer, filming for some of the greatest documentarians of our time, people like Laura Poitras, Ginny Redeker, Raoul Peck, Amy Ziering, and Michael Moore, when I realized that I needed to delve back into the archives of my own work to examine the unintended consequences of recording the lives of others. In that search, I ended up discovering how deeply I had been marked by the intimacies that camera work creates. I thought I was making a film about the past, about ethical conundrums, about unintended consequences, about memory, and while it is about all of that, I realized that I was also making a film for the future and the challenges we collectively face now.